curious gang. It's your London friend Vasi that takes you around London and also shows you new cool places like Italy, which just opened here in London after a big anticipation of four years. And let's start with why should you go to Italy? Well, you can eat, shop and learn in there. You can eat at the restaurants, of course, you can have freshly handmade pasta or pizza, you can shop at the supermarket and deli, but you can also learn about Italian food, wine, culture, traditions and beyond. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like like and subscribe it really helps me grow my little channel and spread this video to more curious people and most importantly we're going there to investigate we have to see and judge is it worth the money or not where is it located? Italy is right next to Liverpool station and you can actually see it already from the metro and the exact address is below Ooh. And right after you enter, you will see the Grand Café, the coffee bar, and right after it, there is this sweet street. Guys, do you like dark chocolate? Because I'm not really a big fan of it. They have fun this stelle. Oh my god, I love this biscuit. Oh, for only four pounds. Yeah, I mean four pounds. Such a bargain. Four pounds, of course, it's quite a lot for biscuits. Oh, yeah. Basically, these two are my favorite Italian biscuits. They're so good, but I don't think I'm taking any of them now. You guys, this is one of the best things ever. It's like this cream of pistachio. It's a little bit pricey, but it's super good. The cannoli area is still closed due to the restrictions at the moment but it will open very soon and I really suggest you try them because they make them here at the moment and they fill them up for you. And in this area you can find sweets from brands such as Venki, Leone, Vincente and of course other Italian sweets but I have to tell you prices are like pretty much double as what they are in Italy. And right after that you can see the fresh pasta bar where they make fresh pasta every single day but we'll be getting back to this bar because we got pasta for lunch so stay tuned for our review and just a quick backstory before my italian boyfriend comes in basically he really cares about italian products being authentic italian and not only being advertised as italian so if the pasta is made in italy it's not enough you also have to check where does the wheat come from hi everybody ben here with a very important thing so as you can see here, you can see that like this aims to be like, you know, something like tra this is tradition from a long time ago, you know, and it's all written in Italian to look authentic. However, you have to look here, wheat origin, you and on you, which means the wheat is likely to come from like, you know, like places like Morocco or Australia or the US, which means it's not an Italian product. It was made in Italy, but like it the, the prime of the raw material doesn't come from Italy. Oh, what is that? Spanforte. Tell us what is Spanforte. I don't know what is Spanforte. <laughs> and this is La Panetteria, where they make handmade bread and focaccia every day on a wood burning fire. And you guys, because we came very early in the morning and they're making the bread at the moment, and you just cannot imagine what smell it has. And if you see, it's still fresh. I can literally feel that it's still uh, warm and hot and uh, I love it. Oh, it's, it's only seven pounds for like seven and a half for, for a piece of bread. What a bargain. And guys, let's see what can we find on the second floor. How expensive is this place? Well, the supermarket is a little bit expensive. I hope that the restaurants are better. Give me the prosciutto. Right after you enter, the first thing that you see is the fresh counter with fresh cheese and also some cured meat. Oh, I love this thing. Slices of like ham, you know, with like uh, fennel and spicy stuff. It's basically like the great version of the beef jerky, you know? And after that, you also have La 
pesqueria, which is basically the fishmonger, but I have to say there weren't so many things. Maybe because it was still 10 a.m. or maybe because the supermarket has just opened, but I think the selection could be way better. Okay, and you guys, not everything in here is open because of the restrictions, but uh, from the 20th of May, you will be able to come in here when restaurants are also open from the inside. And this is one of the restaurants. It is this one, Cucina del Mercato. And moving on to the fresh fruit and veggies, and I just have to say that this is the part which shocked me the most. This is what I had with the orecchiette in the lead video below for our anniversary. And please pay special attention to these cherry tomatoes that are 14 pounds per kilo. Isn't this insane? Uh, you guys, this is six pounds. Six. Why? And here is the restaurant Pasta e Pizza, but at the moment it is closed due to the restrictions. So as you can see, you have, uh, of course, I think it's German, you know, and this is what's used to like slice the like, ham. Mm -hmm. You can see like how thick you want to slice and it's usually to make it like very, very, almost transparent, you know, and you slice things Like up. for the prosciutto. Yeah, like for the, for the prosciutto, for the prosciutto, and anything, you know, the capocollo, and it's, it's all about, you know, getting like such a nice thin, you know, almost transparent, you know, like ham, nice. Oh, these biscuits are super good to put into coffee. But you guys never eat them directly because they're so hard. I think once I was about to break my teeth, so yeah, don't do that. And if you prefer buying things that are already pre-packed, you can also do it from the fresh fridges and they have over 5,000 products. But also keep in mind, it doesn't really come very cheap. Oh my God, you guys. There is so much pasta in here. Look all this section. Here, all this is pasta. And of oh. course, Ben is checking from where... This one is good. This was, was produced in Italy. But see, it's, it's like almost like, you know, uh, 10 pound per kilo. And they also make fresh mozzarella in there, which is great. You can see how exactly it is made. But if you pay attention, they're still teaching them on how to do it. And this is the stracciatella, which is literally my favorite cheese. Oh my god, it's so creamy. I love it. It costed 13 pounds per kilo, so I didn't actually buy it, but now I regret it. There is also this zero waste food section, which is great, but the only thing that I don't get is why every time where you can buy it bulk, things are more expensive. I thought they should be cheaper. Here you can see the different regions of Italy and then it shows you and then it gives you all the wines from this region. Is there wine from your region in here? This is the wine from my region. Never never seen this brand, this uh, label. So but, it's a red well, wine. Yeah, it's, red, 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 it's, really, really, like, it's really strong red wine. One of the things that you can have with wine is this. It's called Taralli and they come from the region of Puglia, from where is my friend. Just to give you an idea on the prices, the average bottle goes around 20 euros. Yeah. And the cheapest I have seen was like 8. And they will have these uh, courses where they teach you on how to cook. Let me give you a glimpse on how it looks on the inside. Look at that! Here they will have the past classes. Look at all this. I'm an Italian chef with over like 27 years of experience in eating and making pasta. And he said in eating, I don't know if you heard that. And guys, outside there is also this restaurant, La Terrazza di Italy, which is by Apero. It really reminded me of the one in Milan, but unfortunately we couldn't go in there because they take only bookings and it was all fully booked for the month of May. And here I pretty much made a documentary on how they make pizza. And guys, this is the pizza that they eat in Rome. Usually it's street style and it's not the typical Neapolitan style pizza, which which you can find at the restaurant. 
Something interesting about this pizza is that for some of them, they cook them with the ingredients, like here you can see with the prosciutto or with the veggies, but for others, they cook it pretty much like bread and once it's done, they add the rest of the ingredients like the mozzarella or the stracciatella, which, oh my God, I love. We got two slices of pizza, one of them is with courgette and stracciatella on top and the other one is the classic margarita and a portion of cacio e pepe and it's going to have Hello. the first taste test taste test pizza oh. this is the margarita and it costed 4.50 wow approved Hello. and i got a super interesting one this is how it looks it's also super light it's really good and here we have the pasta as well we got cacio and pepe we had to wait a little bit before we actually took it because we took the first pasta but look at that you can really see that it's fresh and ironically it's much cheaper to take a flight to italy go to italy and buy these sticks for much cheaper if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in this next video love you all bye